Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. The day has finally arrived. Thank you all for your patience. We are going to take a look at the brand new winter 2022 collection from Light Elegance called Wish You Were Here. And we are going to take a look at the hard gel colors and glitters and the P plus in the colors and the glitters as well. So I am super excited. This is going to be a jam packed video. So grab a pen and paper paper if you want to make notes, a beverage, we're going to do some color comparisons and this is going to be so much fun. So let's get started. Okay, let's start out with a surprise. I'm going to just quickly show you the brand new mini dot from Light Elegance. It's an LED lamp and it's a mini size lamp that's portable. You can plug it into a battery pack or a computer or a plug-in that's got a USB port on the other end of it, the plug. <laughs> I'm so not technical. <laughs> I think you guys know what I mean. So this little lamp is so freaking cute. It made me smile as I was unboxing it. It's just so adorable. So this light has three LED lights inside and they're strategically placed as you can see inside here. It is a 60 second cure and it cures only LED. Now look at this in comparison to the regular dot lamp. <laughs> it just fits right inside. Kind of looks like a little Pac-Man. Nom nom nom. Just <laughs> eat up the little mini dot. <laughs> So you plug it into the back and then the other end of the plug is a USB plug. Now, the only thing that I noticed with this lamp is if you have long nails like I have, you can't put all four fingers in. And this is for four fingers only or for your toes. So you can see here that I'm at the very end and my pinky is not going to be cured all the way through. So this lamp would be great for short nail manicures or toes. For a more in-depth description of this lamp, head on over to the Light Elegance YouTube channel and they have a video explaining this lamp in great detail. So let's move on to the glitters. Let's start with the glitters. I think this will be fun. I usually start with colors, but I'm feeling a little spicy today. <laughs> let's start with anxiously awaiting and anxiously awaiting is this gorgeous rosy deep pink toned glitters with some fuchsia glitter in here. I'm seeing also some gold glitter and they are very fine and you could apply this glitter gel in one thin layer cure for 30 seconds and go in with your second layer or apply the first layer thinly and then go in with a bigger dollop of glitter and just sort of float it in to get an opaque coverage. So this is after two coats and on three different skin tones. So very, very pretty. You can see so much color in this glitter gel. It's very winter. This is a color that could be worn in the Christmas season, fall, the winter, just a really pretty kind of almost a cranberry color of a glitter. It's so stunning. So Let's take a look at the P plus and I'm not going to go into great detail about this one. It's the same color and I just wanted you to see how it applies. It's a little bit different. It applies a little bit more sparingly or sparsely, but you can build it up as you see here in two layers and it is stunning. It is absolutely stunning. I would probably put a thicker top coat on because it is a little bumpy when you put this on top of a finished file nail, but let's do some color comparisons because you guys have been asking. Cheers from Down Under has got some same tones in that one, but it's chunkier. Ellie's You Bring the Wine, that's got some similar tones in there, but some uh, iridescent smaller glitters, some chunkier gold copper glitters. Tour Guide is more like a coffee gold. Fusion Sweet, that doesn't compare at all, and it's a chunkier glitter. This one's actually quite pretty. Happy Fall Y'all by Fusion is a deeper fall brown toned. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 35 doesn't compare, but I know people have been asking, so I wanted to show it. On Vogue Smooch is way more pink, but you can see there's some similar tones in both. Ellie's Kiss Me in Kenya has got some similar toned colored glitters in there. That is a tongue twister. And Kiss Me in Kenya is a finer glitter. We have Ellie's Betty Davis. That is 
similar but there is only one color of that rosy glitter and what is this one whatever this one was it doesn't compare this one's really pink this one is more of a purplier pink purplier purplier that is not a word magic gels pink rose is way more of a whiny rose kind of color so that doesn't really compare under pressure from fusion doesn't compare but that one's a very pretty one next we have ellie's safari sweetheart that's got some similar shades in it as well but some deeper berry tones to it so the next glitter is called can't wait to cuddle and this one is stunning this is like a light dusty lavender with silver flecks of glitter in here this one almost reminds me of tiny diamond except i think tiny diamond has white glitter and this one is a light dusty lavender this one is gorgeous this would look great over top of a color just to add a little bit of pop this one could even be worn in the springtime and look how beautiful this looks on all three skin tones like I'm wowed with this you could put some black snowflakes on this glitter gel you could add some chunkier glitters if you like this one is very versatile and I think will take you all year round not just for winter and this is two thin layers so you get to see the opacity of this glitter gel on my skin tone so very very pretty P plus I had I couldn't figure out what I was looking at <laughs> The P plus is exactly the same. It's a little bit thinner in consistency. And this one I really noticed reminded me of Tiny Diamond again, except for the fact that Can't Wait to Cuddle has got more of that light lavender tone to it. So let's compare this to In My Happy Place. You can see some similar colors of glitter in both, but In My Happy Place is chunkier. Magic Gel's Purple Tutu that has some similar tones as well, but some fuchsia and lavender chunkier glitters. Glow's Remix is way more of a purplier blue. There I go again with the purplier. <laughs> Ugly Duckling number 187. I'm not too sure why I showed this. I think because of that pink and purple hue. Ellie's Losing My Impatience is more of a blush pink. That one's really pretty. We have Light Elegance hashtag OMG. That's more like a steel purple. Ugly Duckling number 105. That's a deeper purple, so it doesn't really compare at all, but I just want to give you a sense here. Light Elegance Buttercream Wink Wink. That's more of a metallic shimmer. From Magic Gel's new fall collection, we have Starfall, which is one of my favorite from Magic Gel. That's similar in tone. Ugly Duckling number 103. That's similar in tone, but it's a little bit more dense. And we have Magic Gel's Raspberry Ice, which is also similar in tone, but more like a leaf gel. So let's move on to just a few more sleeps. Now, spoiler alert, you guys, this is my favorite glitter out of this collection. <laughs> this is almost like an ocean mint winter green, or like a spearmint green with white and silver flecks of glitter. And I believe it almost looks like the white is a matte glitter. This one is stunning. It's very dense, very concentrated and two thin layers you can get a very nice opaque coverage i love this glitter gel and i think this would look fantastic with some silver snowflakes white snowflakes and for a dramatic touch even some black snowflakes not that snowflakes are black but i mean that would look kind of cool <laughs> And this is a color that basically would go great with any skin tone. I could wear this one on all 10 nails. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So let's take a look at the P plus formula. So if you have an eye mix, I would suggest putting these glitters on the eye mix and just giving it a stir first. But if you don't have the time to do that, you could always put these glitter gels over top of a color. And I think that would look stunning. Like a nice seafoam green would look beautiful underneath this glitter gel. Okay, let's compare this to Magic Gel's Emerald Breeze that is not similar, but there are some similar tones. Cucumber Sandwich from Light Elegance is more of a light yellow green. Magic's Seafoam, see there's that seafoam green. Magic Gel's Cold Lake, that is a chunkier glitter, but it's got some similar tones as just a few more sleeps. Ellie's Deja Blue, there you go. That is quite similar, but a little bit more of a chunkier glitter and some different colors in there as well. Fusions Take a Dip, there's some similarities in tone, but a different color, like a different shade of green. 
Magic Gel's Blue Lotus. That's got a little bit more blue to it, but it's super comparable besides the chunkiness. Next glitter is called Leave the Light On. And Leave the Light On, when I first opened it, reminded me of Trunk Full of Love from the fall collection from Allie. But it's not, and I'll show you the difference. This one is almost as well like Tiny Diamond. So there's some silver gray glitter, some white, and some really sparkly tiny silver glitters in here. This almost looks like a, oh, I'm going to say like a warm white. So this would look beautiful over top of Wanna Be My Tarzan Buttercream, just one thin layer. I think that would look stunning. Or over a gray, like Ride the Rails or Goddess Within. That's a little bit darker, but I think that contrast would look super stunning. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the P+. Plus. So as I'm spreading this out on the swatch stick, it stick. <laughs> stick it does remind me of tiny diamond and it's also got some gray undertones to it a creamy gray so a warm toned gray if there is even such a thing i have no idea so let's compare this to pears and pastries which has got that similar grayish white glitter in it but with purple p plus smitten is silver diamond dust from on vogue that's like your holographic silver glitter magic gel starburst is another holographic silver glitter gel light elegance p plus disco that's more of your holographic silver glitter as well hollow butter bling by light elegance which is my absolute favorite of all time that's more holographic trunk full of love here we are that is more of a darker gray so there is such a difference between those two ugly duckling gel polish number 41 that is a really dense silver glitter ellie's iced up that's more of your shards of white glitter sparkle by on vogue that's more of a white glitter ellie's tiny diamond so you can see here tiny diamond is more on that lighter white side with this ring buttercream doesn't compare that's more of a white glitter light elegant strand of pearls not paris i need to change my swatch stick that doesn't compare breathless is more of a transparent glitter low maintenance by on vogue has got some very low maintenance holographic glitter and lastly ugly duckling number 13 is a very soft transparent glitter okay next glitter is called long distance love and this one looks like it would be perfect for valentine's day this is a more Cran light cranberry red with gold glitter so it is more on that pink side than anxiously awaiting which was the first glitter we looked at and I will compare the two but this one says to me a very happy Christmas red or kind of like light cranberry or a ra light raspberry red or even a strawberry red like look at this color on all three skin tones it looks fabulous Put some rose gold or even just gold, gold Swarovski crystals on this. Oh my gosh, would that not, wow. That would just bling out your nails, say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is a, this is a happy Christmas color. So now onto the P Plus Long Distance Love. Yeah, Valentine's Day too. Did I, I didn't mention that. Oh wait, yes I did with the hard gel. So this would look stunning over top of your favorite, I would say a light rose cozy red put this color on top or this glitter on top just one thin layer oh my gosh that gold would just pop okay I have to say it this one comes in second of my favorites in this collection wow oh I love this one okay let's compare this to light elegance candy apple that is similar in tone but candy apple's got some fuchsia glitter in it not gold red chandelier in the P plus formula is a deeper red and finer glitter in it Fusion's Rise is a chunkier glitter and a deeper red cranberry type of color. So in the same family, but deeper. Ellie's Cuckoo for Canada doesn't compare. That one's a deeper burgundy red. Ellie's Ravishing Red is a deeper cranberry. Doesn't really compare. Mariachi in Mexico is a chunkier glitter. And I think there's some matte shards in there as well. En Vogue's 360 Hot. That's in the same family, but deeper. Ellie's Richie and Bitchy is more of a bright red. Salsa Dress from Magic Gel is more of a warm red. 
this one doesn't compare. Number 164 from Ugly Duckling, but I wanted to show it anyways. I think those two together would look really good. So here's Anxiously Awaiting that we looked at at the very beginning. So I wanted you guys to see that it doesn't compare. Those are two different tones. Okay, next, Sincerely Yours. This is quite a romantic collection, isn't it? The names are very romantic and warm. So I brought out Oopsie Daisy so you guys can see the difference. I thought Sincerely Yours reminded me of Oopsie Daisy and a couple of coconuts, but as you can see, they don't. There is a difference here. So Sincerely Yours is a very soft, kind of a creamy beige color with I'm, I'm seeing white glitter in here and maybe some hints of silver as well. This is the glitter gel that I thought would look nice over Wannabe My Tarzan, which is my favorite buttercream in this shade. So this is Sincerely Yours over three different skin tones. So you can see quite a soft, subtle glitter. Some clients aren't gonna want those harsh jewel tones like reds and greens this winter or holiday season. They might want something really soft. So Sincerely Yours is a really good, really, really, a really good option. And again, yeah, this would look stunning over Wanna Be My Tarzan. Put this color over a black or a deep brown. Oh no, not a black, but a deep brown. That would look stunning for the holidays. I don't think I would wear this glitter on its own. I would put a base color underneath or wear this glitter gel two thin layers and stamp on some gold or some of that pearl white uh, snowflakes over top and that would look so beautiful okay we're doing color comparisons here and I'm babbling away sorry just stop the video if you want to see what these colors are while I was babbling and I'm still babbling buttercream gold bug I actually used this for the first time on a client it was absolutely stunning Ellie's adventure awaits that's similar but it's got more of a pop with gold in it. A couple of coconuts which we saw so here's the comparisons. They're similar but a couple of coconuts has got a little bit more pop to it. Okay let's move on to the color gels. Again very romantic and warm cozy names in this collection. Let's take a look at flannel for one and flannel for one is this oh I want to call this a really soft winter tan leaning on the terracotta side or a deep carnation rosy pink because there's a lot of pink undertones in this color. And I have to say, you guys, when I swatched this little tip here, I noticed, I don't know if it was just me and I'm going crazy or if this is an actual fact, but it went on so smooth like a buttercream. And these are hard gels. So I don't know if Light Elegance has tweaked their formula or not, or if I'm just imagining it. But I love the fact that it was very opaque. One to two thin layers, you get that opacity you would want in a color gel and let's move on to the p plus what i noticed with the p plus that obviously it's a thinner viscosity so it was a little see-through and it did i, I want to say kind of streaky or shadowing but when you stop brushing it levels out and there is no more shadowing or streaking and this is after two layers so it's quite opaque you don't see any shadowing you don't see any streaking i didn't struggle with it so yeah very easy to apply and it goes great with the sweater I used as a prop. <laughs> okay, let's do some color comparisons. P plus heirlooms is definitely lighter. So you can kind of see that flannel for one's got that lighter terracotta or that deep rosy pink shade to it. And you really notice it when I'm showing these lighter colors. So you get a good sense of what this color is all about. I thought it would be closer to your churn that we're showing here on the right, but it's not. Ugly Duckling number 148 is more of that tan color. Fusion Paints number 108, that's a shade lighter, but it looks like to be in that same family. Mauve Mantra Buttercream, that's got more ready purple undertones to it. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 32 is a shade darker. Ugly Duckling number 26 is more of your, like your rosy posy color. So it's a shade darker. This one's also like rosy posy, so a little bit more pink undertones. This one, Hidden Secrets, has some red undertones to it. And lastly, Light Elegance Easy Breezy that it's got more brown undertones. I thought they would be more similar, but they're not. 
Okay, next color is called Heartbreak. And Heartbreak is this, I would say like a true red. There's no blue or brown undertones to this one. This is just red. It's a very pretty red. And again, I have mentioned that how this applies is almost like a buttercream, but not quite. So there's no streaking, two thin layers, you get a full opaque coverage, there's no shadowing. And this color actually looks good on all three skin tones. So even though this red doesn't pull any blue tones or brown tones, I'm wondering if it's more of a warm red. Tell me what you guys think. Comment below if you think this is a warm red. Okay, let's take a look at Heartbreak in the P Plus formula. And I'm seeing purple in here or like a blue undertone. So I'm kind of confused. I didn't really see that with the hard gel. With this being a thinner viscosity, you do see kind of like a pinky purple undertone to it on the swatch stick, not in the bottle. So this is after two thin layers. Again, uh, it was very easy to apply. It self-leveled really nicely. It didn't streak and shadow with the second layer. I want to emphasize that even though the first layer, it did look a little sheer. So next to red bottoms from On Vogue, Heartbreak is looking like a cool red. Even next to this magic gel color, it's looking more on the cool side. Scarlet Tulip, that's a shade lighter and looks a little bit more warm. Real Red from Magic Gel is a warmer red and a shade lighter. Ahoy There Matey Buttercream, that's got some orange undertones to it. Real Red Buttercream, that's almost looking identical, but I think it's a tad darker Real Red is. And Heartbreak looks like it's got more pink undertones to it compared to real red. Executive Red from Magic Gel is a deeper red. Wildflower State Board Red, that's almost looking identical, but with more of a brown undertone. Simply Paint Red from On Vogue, that's a tad deeper. Magic Gel's Red Carpet, that is a deeper red. And we have Light Elegance Unruly Red, that almost looks exact. That's a first. Ugly Duckling Gel Polish number 47 is a deeper red and one of my favorite reds from Ugly Duckling. I think I've mentioned that before. Strawberry Sunset from Magic Gel is more of a strawberry color. Red Rover P Plus from Light Elegance is a tad darker, just a tad. On Vogue's Roxanne is a darker shade of red. Next we have Loose Lips Buttercream and that's also a deeper red. On Vogue's Screw It in their Lacket line, that is a deeper red. We have Magic Gel's Deep Rose, which is a deeper rose red. And lastly, Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 47 is also a deeper red. Okay, let's move on to the next color, which is called Lipstick and Letters. And this is kind of a berry red. So are we pulling some blues in this one? Kind of some pinky blues as well, but the tone is a little bit muted than Heartbreak. So it, they are two different reds. And when I compare the two, you are gonna see that they are two different reds. Some people can wear warm toned reds better than cool toned reds and vice versa. I am someone that can wear a cool toned red better than a warm toned red. So here's lipstick and letters on three different skin tones looks great on three different shades of skin tones and I think it looks good on my skin tone as well so yeah this one is looking really cool almost like a berry red so let's take a look at the P plus first layer is going on quite transparent Parent, so it's not a really pigmented red and all of these colors in the P plus formula are very consistent so it looks like it's very transparent with the first coat and then when you put the second coat it definitely has an opaque coverage and it self levels really nicely I know I'm repeating myself but I just I really don't want you to shy away from the P plus if you like gel polishes they really are easy to work with and stress-free in my opinion Okay, let's do some more color comparisons here. This is Heartbreak. So you can see that Heartbreak is warmer next to Lipstick and Letters. Real Red Buttercream, that's got more of an orange undertone, so a warmer undertone. Unruly Red, that is almost a warmer red as well. Ugly Duckling number 47, that's a little bit deeper, but very similar in shade. Magic Gel's Strawberry Sunset 
is a cool red. So yeah, that's a strawberry red. Lipstick and Letters is a strawberry red. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 48 is a tad deeper than Lipstick and Letters. Light Elegance Red Rover in the P Plus formula is a warmer red. On Vogue's Roxanne, that is a tad deeper as well. Light Elegance Loose Lips Buttercream is a deeper red. That's a really pretty one. On Vogue's Lack It Screw It, that's pretty similar in shade. And lastly, Ugly Duckling number 47 in their color gel formula is a deeper red. Okay, let's move on to Missing You Madly. Missing You Madly is almost a deep burgundy or a maroon with pink undertones, as you can see. So is it a maroon or is it a burgundy? I would say this is a burgundy or a light plum. In the pot, it almost looks like a purpley plum with red undertones, but when you're swatching it, it looks like a burgundy with pink undertones. This is interesting. It's gorgeous. It's in the red family, the purpley red family. Like, look at this. This looks like a purple with a red undertone. So this purpley plumish burgundy color is definitely not pulling any blues. It's pulling more of that brownie red undertone. So let's take a look at the P plus and see what we think. So yeah, this is like a purpley plum burgundy. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Oh, wow, Light Elegance. You really confused me with trying to describe these colors. Like, I have a hard time on a good day. Like, look at this. This looks like a plum color with a red undertone. Wow, I'm like blown away. Regardless of my confusion, this is a gorgeous winter color. Okay, let's compare this to Light Elegance's Nippy. That's kind of similar, but Nippy's got a shimmer in it. Ellie's Tangled Mittens, that's darker. That's almost like your plum, deep plum color. Show Me Your Spots Buttercream is a deeper color as well, and I think that's got more brown undertones. Ugly Duckling number 113 in their gel polish, that looks super similar. Ellie's Bougie Babe, that also looks pretty similar as well. On Vogue's Bordeaux, that is a lighter Bordeaux burgundy color. Wild Fluck, Fluckers, <laughs> Wild Fluckers. Wildflowers Huckleberry. <laughs> I can't. I gotta stop. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Fast Lane Buttercream is super similar, but a little lighter. Ugly Duckling number 64, that is almost similar. I think that's got more blue undertones. Isn't it Ionic Buttercream? That is a deeper, rich plum color. Okay, Pen Pals is the next color. And this is almost like a taupey milk chocolate. I thought this color was gonna pull some gray undertones, but it's not, it's almost that mauvey purple the taupe color that's coming through so pen pals is almost an earthy brown and it's not your yeah I, I am seeing some gray undertones to this as well that must be the mauve in it like this is gorgeous yeah this it's more mauve than it is a gray undertone I would use this color for sweater nails. I think this looks just so warm and cozy and I think it would be a perfect color for sweater nails. I could also see this color being used in the fall, adding some copper or bronze leaves, glitter leaves in here. That would look stunning as well. Okay, let's take a look at the P Plus and see how that swatches. So with the P plus, I'm definitely seeing some gray undertones in this color. Okay, that's really interesting. It's like a smoky gray. I guess that's what would make a taupe, right? Smoky gray and purple is taupe or is that mauve? Anyway, <laughs> back to regular programming here. Oh, that squirrel gets me every time. This is a gorgeous fall color. Again, with being in the P plus formula, it was easy to apply. I didn't struggle with it. It's a really nice neutral winter color, I think. Okay. Let's monkey around buttercream. That's got more red undertones to it. Ellie's I Clove You, that's, yeah, it does not compare at all. Okay, Road to Zanzibar. This one I was really curious about. This does not compare. I thought they'd be more similar, but they're not. And this one from Ugly Duckling is got a little bit more of a green base to it. Fusion's Autumn Vibes, that's a little bit lighter, more fall tones. 
Number 157 from Ugly Ducklings got red undertones. And let's move on to our last color, worth waiting for. Definitely this one is worth waiting for. Look at this gorgeous green. This to me looks like a forest green. I wanna say like a spruce green, but I know spruce has got more blue undertones to it. So this is kind of leaning on that dark jade side, but I this is a color that I've been missing in my collection, I think, until I look through the, we do the color comparisons and I'm gonna call myself a liar, I know it. <laughs> but this green has a gray undertone and it's so unique. It's almost like a deep forest green that almost meets an army green but not quite because there are some blue hues to this color as well. And this is a color that looks good on all three of these skin tones. I can see rose gold snowflakes, gold snowflakes, silver snowflakes. This is just stunning. This is a great fall color too. And look how amazing this looks on my skin tone. I would wear this on all 10 nails, just this color. No bling, no glitter, no snowflakes, nothing. This is how beautiful this color is. Okay, let's check out the P Plus formula. So again, very consistent. It, the first layer goes on quite sheer, but when you build it up with the second layer, it, you get that opaque coverage. Self levels really nicely, so you're not gonna get the streaking or shadowing and this is just stunning just absolutely stunning okay I can't wait to do some color comparisons on Vogue's Azure has got more of a blue base magic gels earthy symphony see there you go except for earthy symphony's got a shimmer to it well this one's even close ugly duckling number 59 is almost identical ugly duckling number 117 that's more like a deep olive green Ugly Duckling number 95, that is like a Christmas tree, green Christmas tree. <laughs> I give up. I can't think anymore. This one here is too blue. This is from Wildflowers. And pack your passport. It's got more brown undertones from Light Elegance. Jane of the Jungle Buttercream. That's more of your olive green or military green. Time for Me from Fusion. That's the same. That's got a bit of a shimmer to it, but it's also more like your army green. Same with G.I. Jane from Light Elegance. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just, my brain is dead it's numb i can't think anymore that's a pretty green <laughs> so on that note let's recap wow that was a lot what do i think of this collection i really like it i love the theme of it being warm and cozy and romantic wish you were here that i really love how light elegance does their collections in themes i like that there are two different types of reds a warm and a cool red so not everyone can wear a cool or a warm red so it's nice to have that choice there's some neutrals in here which is pen pal that uh, taupey brown and flannel for one which is that carnation pink light terracotta color really nice wintry colors not dual tone colors but soft cozy wintry colors is how i would describe this and the glitter gels are just wow they're all pretty consistent with the size of glitters and how dense the glitters are like there's a lot of glitter in each pot that glitter to gel ratio is perfection in my opinion i prefer to work with finer glitters and a glitter gel that is more dense I find the finer glitters are easier to do glitter fades if you just want to do a light fade on the tip of the nail and that's it. Or if you want to add chunkier glitters, you can add a chunky glitter, dry loose glitter to it. So this type of glitter gel is really versatile in my opinion. The color gels, wow you guys, that application was amazing, amazing. I remember the color gels you used to have to float the color on or I found you would have to way back like years years ago, six, seven years ago. Now you can paint it on. They are so pigmented and after two thin layers, you get that full opaque coverage. I think this is a collection that can take you all the way from fall into 
early spring. And lastly, for the color selection that Light Elegance made, I feel like we've seen heartbreak before with Light Elegance, with Unruly Red was super similar. So if you are someone that is new to Light Elegance, this would be a great collection to pick up because you don't have a red like Heartbreak. If you are someone that has pretty much every Light Elegance color there is out there, Heartbreak might be too similar for you. You can purchase these colors individually, so it's not like you'll have a duplicate of colors. And let's not neglect the P Plus collection that comes in the colors and the glitters as well. These colors are are a little bit thinner in viscosity so they aren't as pigmented in your first coat as the hard gels are but you saw you can two layers you get a full opaque coverage also for the month of November and December light elegance has a sale on and creative beauty is honoring this sale as well if you buy 18 P plus colors or glitters you can mix and match a little bit of colors and glitters you get the mini dot for free so I don't don't know if that includes the new collection here or if it's the older colors and glitters. You can check with Light Elegance or Creative Beauty and they'll be able to answer that question for you. So that is it for this video you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media and if you have any questions please comment them down below and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.